All right, guys, we got a couple things on the list. Today is you know, late in the afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got all the, I used up my 50 foot roll to uh, make all my uh, little tomato cages. And so I'm going to go ahead and get these and put them out on the um, garden. And uh, then I have my one tomato plant that's in my hydroponics that's getting too big and I'm going to have to transplant it into its own container. So we're going to figure that out too. I've got this bucket over here and I'm thinking we might use this bucket. So we'll see. there we are I got a little too aggressive on some of them shoving them down <laughs> I don't know if you can tell but uh, these are just a little bit bigger uh, than the original so I think it was um, I think it was 15 loops or 15 uh, gap uh, sections uh, long and I uh, just wrapped it around and I just rocked it back and forth and shoved it in there a couple of them i got a little too hard with and kind of bent them up then you got that one there just mangled because it was the very last one that it was on the very end of the well wo the welded wire so it was already like that but i ain't really worried about it but yeah this worked out perfectly and uh i come up with 20 of them so looking good i think i think they're gonna work out just fine so next we're gonna start working on our hydroponic tomatoes all right so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our little enclosure or our container here for our tomato plant to be all by itself so that way it has plenty of room to grow and uh this is a bucket i mean you can find buckets you know cheap any big box or this is one that I have and the only unfortunate thing about it is that the lid's white so I'm not sure how well that's gonna block out the sunlight but we'll see uh, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna drill our hole in the middle of it and uh, for our net cup and then I've got a piece of woven wire here just like I was doing with my tomato cages I made it to the size of the bucket pretty much the lid of the bucket and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these off like we would uh, like we would with the uh, tomato cages I'm going to cut this bottom ring off here and uh, I'm going to mark each spot where it touches the lid and I'm going to drill little holes in the lid all the way around and that way I can I can punch it, I can push this, uh, push this piece through the lid and then bend it back, bend it inside the lid and that way it'll hold it real nice and uh, you'll be able to take the lid off uh, and with, uh, uh, with the support attached. We could just wrap it around the outside but then you're going to have to take it off to 
you're going to have to lift it up to be able to lift the lid up and, and look at it. So I think that's going to be the best way to do it, and uh, we're going to give it a go. fantastic i'm not even going to bend these up because uh, that's not going anywhere once you get uh, this bucket full of water it's going to be terrific and that way you can just pull this pull this right out if you wanted to uh, yeah that worked great and we're probably going to want to pull it out anyway when we put the plant in there maybe i don't know it's going to be kind of hard to set the tomato plant in there but yeah that worked out great so next we're going to fill it full of water and nutrients and then we're going to transplant our uh our tomato plant so here's what we're working with uh you know this cage probably wouldn't be you know isn't necessary i mean it's it's inside the greenhouse it really doesn't matter it could grow out to the floor it wouldn't matter but uh, except for the fact that I've got such small uh, little net pots that I'm using uh, that I mean you can just see how, how how the lack of stability so when you're growing bigger plants like tomatoes you really probably should be using the large net pots and they even make a net pot that just fits perfectly right over a five gallon bucket uh, they're pretty they're pretty expensive net pot wise but it is an option um, I don't know if you guys could tell but I used a hole saw when I was cutting that and you can just tell it makes a really nice uh, clean hole and my net pot fits perfectly in there like so and it's just, and it's just a really uh, um, really easy way you don't have to snip it do any snipping or anything like that just bam and you're done um so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my nutrients in here mix it up and then we're going to try to take our plant and move it in here which can be kind of difficult with the large root system but we're going to give it a go and then we'll if we can get it in there we'll put the cage over top of it so This thing is just growing like crazy. If we left this here, it would just take over this container. So we're gonna pull it out, and it's not too bad. Nice root system. I don't think it's gonna be too difficult to get it in there. And I, I don't prune any of these. I mean, you can to try to get them to grow upwards, but I just don't, I don't, uh, I'm more of a uh, hands-off as much as possible, uh, so I don't prune. And so let's go ahead and get our lid on here. Snap it over again. And I try to start the... Get the majority of them in there. Just kind of tuck them in. And then what you can do is kind of turn it. Just turn it while you're pushing it down in there. 
Make sure you're not snagging any of the roots on the on the lid. And there we go. We're free and clear. And the last thing we're gonna do is put our cage on, which this will be a little more difficult maybe. Given our space here. Man, it smells good. I love the smell of tomato plants. Make sure we're not putting our branches in kind of a bind here. Voila. And we're all set. Keep in mind that this bucket is quite a bit taller than most of my containers, so I put it next to the tall container. And uh, the other containers on the other side, and you know, given enough space that whenever the sun's going to be coming from the other side of this, it's not going to block it. So just something to think about. Still gonna get everything's gonna get plenty of sunlight in here, but just the little things like that I'm sure can make some difference. So there we go, we're all done. Um, I think that's gonna be it for this one. And uh, like and subscribe if you're enjoying this kind of stuff. And thanks for watching.